Okay, so we've already gone over how to solve the shear and moment diagrams for this particular loading on this 30 foot long beam. And what we, when we do that, what we're trying to do is find the shear and the moment everywhere. And so the semi-graphical method is a really good way to go. However, what if we just wanted to find, let's say, the shear and the moment at a given point? Let's say right here, uh, 10 feet from the left, from the right side of the beam. And what I'm going to show now is, is what's called the equilibrium method. And this method allows us to get the shear and moment directly at one point. So the first thing we're going to need, as always, are the reactions. And we already solved for the reactions before. Again, the reaction here was 90 kips vertical and 60 kips vertical. And it was 0 kips horizontal there. And let's just call this point C. So the point that we're looking at is point C. So in order to do this, we use the equilibrium method because we're going to use our three equations of equilibrium. And what we do is we cut our beam at point C. So we're going to cut it right there. And we're going to draw a free body diagram of either side. And I'm going to show both sides so you can see how you get the same answer regardless of which side you choose. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to start with the left side here. I've just cut the beam in the left side, cut it right at point C, and in order for this to stay in equilibrium, we have to replace the cut at point C with the internal forces that are going on. And that's what we're trying to solve here. So we're going to have a shear at point C. I'll put a symbol V for shear. We're going to have a moment put an M for moment, and we would have an axial force A. So that's what's going on. And the reason I drew them in the way that I did is the positive sign convention. So shear, a positive shear is one that makes a deformation that looks like this. So when you push down on a right face or up on the left face, that creates a positive shear. A positive moment is one that makes a smiley face, so it bends like that. And a positive axial force is one that stretches out. So this is our positive sign convention. And if we end up with a negative value for either the shear, the moment, or the axial, then we know that it goes the opposite direction we assumed. Um, so what I've done is I've drawn these. These are my three unknowns. And we know from our three equations of equilibrium, of course, we have some of the forces in the x direction equals 0, some of the forces in the y direction equals 0, and some of the moments about all points have to equal 0. We're going to use our three equations of equilibrium to solve for our three unknowns unknown moment, unknown axial, and unknown shear. And at this point, it's no different than any of the reaction problems we've already done. What I'm also going to do is we can do it on the side here. We can also do the right side of the beam, and we'll see we get the same answer. So let me draw the right side here. And the right side is a little bit simpler here. The right side uh, has the two kips per foot load on it, or 60 kip reaction here. And then we get the same shear. Again, it's up if it's on a left face. So I'm going to use these sign conventions here. Up on the left face, clockwise on a left face, and out on the left face. So a moment here will look like that. And our axial load A will look like that. So let's go ahead and solve our three equations of equilibrium on the left side. We're going to start with sum of the forces in the x direction equals 0, to the right being positive, to the right being positive, and we get equals to A. Therefore, A equals 0. So with just loads transverse to our beam, we only get, um, we get 0 axial force in our beam. Next one we're going to do is sum of the forces in the y direction equals 0, up being positive, 
and we start off with a 90 kip up minus 90 kips down minus 2 kips per foot times 20 feet and that has and, the, and then we get a minus V there's our unknown V and of course that all has to equal 0 so the 90's cancel out and we get solving for V we get V is equal to minus 40 kips then we're going to sum our moments about any point. I'm going to sum my moments about point C, this way being positive. I'm going to pick point C because just there's the most going on there and they drop out of the equation. Of course, the sum of the moments have to equal zero. And so if I sum those moments, I get 90 kips times 10 feet. And that's going in a positive sense and then I get 2 kips per foot times 20 feet so that's the resultant of our uniform load and it acts at 10 feet out and that's also going positive so I get um, 400 there so that's positive and finally I get my M and I have my reaction as well so we get 90 kips times 30 feet and since that's going counterclockwise that would be a negative and of course all that has to equal zero when I do the math on that we get 900 kip feet plus 400 kip feet plus m minus 2700 kip feet equals zero. Oops, that was actually 20 feet, and that makes this one minus 1800 kip feet. Solving for m, we bring m to the other side, and we get m is equal to 500 kip feet. So we have our moment, we have our shear, and we have our axial. Now, if we take the other side of the beam and we solve it, we should get the exact same answer. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's do our sum of the forces, and the x direction equals 0, to the right being positive, and we get equals minus a, so a is equal to 0 and then we do our sum of the forces in the y direction equals 0 up being positive this time V gets a positive sign because it's pointing up so that equals V minus 2 kips per foot times 10 feet because the 2 kips are going down and plus 60 kips and of course that all equals 0 so V is equal to 60 kips minus 20 kips or V is equal to since I brought the V over to the other side it would be negative V equals 40 kips or V is equal to minus 40 kips is our second solution and you can see that matches and finally we take our sum of our moments about point C counterclockwise being positive equals zero and this time I get a minus M because that M is going in the clockwise sense I get a 2 kips per foot times 10 feet times 5 feet which is um, also going in a negative sense that's the resultant here of the uniform load times the distance to its centroid and then I get plus 60 kips times 10 feet so if I solve this one here of course that all equals 0 m is equal to 
is equal to minus 100 kip feet plus 600 kip feet, or m is equal to 500 kip feet. So again, the same answer we got over here. And we saw when we did this the other, on the previous problem, that the moments and the shears we found at the point of the load and at the support and we could interpolate from that as well. Because this is what we call the equilibrium method and again the equilibrium method is used to find you could do this everywhere and we could solve at some um, arbitrary point x but it's most useful for finding the moment and the shear at exactly one point uh, throughout a beam. The important thing is to look at this positive sign convention and uh, when you're applying your unknown forces to the beam, so here and here, you always look at the side of the beam that you're applying it to and, and put those as positive. And note that that's a different sign convention than these positive sign conventions. All right.